I'm in Pitt Town, a historical town in New South Wales outside a very special pub, Bird in Hand Inn. I'm told it's famous for its pies. Let's go and check it out. Coming in is like stepping back in time. The kitchen's just around the corner. Hi Janine. Hello Eva, how are you? Oh, I'm great and I'm loving the ambience of this pub. Can you tell me a little bit more about the pub's history? The history goes back to 1825, that's when the hotel was built. The original name for the hotel was called the Maid of Australia and then changed to the Bird in Hand Inn. The town is, is quite significant as far as food supply to the early settlers. That's correct. What had happened was um, they used to have their fresh produce here, um, they had meat, they also had vegetables that they used to grow here. I believe this is a family run business. You're the pie maker and... That's right, we run it as a family business. I yes. have my daughter Brody, who is actually making some pies at the moment. Hello Brody. Hello. <laughs> and then I have my husband and my children that work here as well. So what makes this pie so special, Janine? What makes our pie so unique is the fact that we have fresh vegetables, good produce, fresh meat. We have a great butcher. Uh, I think that's very important as well. Eva, once you have made your pie mix, then it becomes too thick and you must have it on for about at least two hours, okay? Mm. And then we have our finished product, oh. which I have baked for you. So oh. would you like to try one of our finished products? Yes, please. <laughs> and now for the famous Pit Town Pie experience. Bon appétit. Thanks, Jenny. You're very welcome. Smells great. I think I know what all the fuss is about. Thanks, Janine. That was a great pie. That is my pleasure. Can you give me some tips on how to make a good pie at home? Well, first of all, I think it's very important that you have the right cut of meat. People seem to think that maybe um, they should have a rump steak or a better quality steak, but that's not necessarily true because we are using a stewing steak, which will be your oyster blade or a chuck steak. And that's where you'll get that lovely texture where the meat will just come away from each other and separate. And that's what we need to get in our beautiful pies. What about ratio of meat to other ingredients? How much meat should I use? Very good question. I think it's important that you never skimp on um, meat. I think it's very important that you have the same amount of meat to vegetables mm -hmm. and having a really good stock is very important as well. And of course, the last thing I forgot to mention was the love. You must put so much love into what you're doing. Your secret is out now and I have really tasted it. There was love in that pie and I really loved it. Thank you so much. Pitt Town is just one hour's drive from Sydney and only five minutes from Windsor.